Welcome! In this video, we will show you how to create a configuration with two MIDI controllers. We will use Korg Nano Control 2 and Nanopad 2 MIDI controllers. We will also show you a new functionality for OC MIDI for Titan 1 2.1, which allows to control the wheels of Titan 1 with the XY pad of the Nanopad 2. First, connect the MIDI controllers to the computer. Once the MIDI controllers are connected to the computer, start OC MIDI. The first time OC MIDI is started, a window indicating that there are no configurations available will be shown. Confirm that you want to create a new configuration and the configuration editor will be opened automatically. Enter a name for the configuration. Set 2 as the number of MIDI controllers of the configuration. Select the controller 1 to configure it. The first controller of our configuration will be the Nano Control 2. Enter a name for the MIDI controller. Select the model for the MIDI controller. The Nano Control 2 and the NanoPad 2 controllers appear in the model list, since specific functions for these controllers have been added in OC MIDI 2.1. Select the option corresponding to the Nano Control 2 controller. Regarding the operation mode, select the default option Native Mode. Select the input and output MIDI devices for this controller. Next, select the second MIDI controller, which corresponds to Nanopad 2. Configure Nanopad 2 in the same way you did with Nano Control 2. Give the controller a name, select the model, and select the default operation mode, Native Mode. And select the input and output MIDI devices. Click the OK button to create the configuration. There are two device tabs, one for each MIDI controller that we have defined in the configuration. In the case of controls mapped with more than one device, the displayed values correspond to the device of the selected device tab. Select Capture Mode and proceed to map the different controls. We are going to start mapping the faders of the Nano Control 2 controller. Map additional buttons. Map the wheels to controller knobs. Use the absolute mode since the Nano Control 2 controller does not have encoders but potentiometers. Map the 
map the disable wheels button to. We also map the XY pad of the NanoPad 2 controller, which allow us to control the first two wheels. To do this, press the Capture Values button. A dialog appears informing us that we must press the lower corner of the XY pad, after which the XY pad is configured. That's possible because we are using the controller in native mode. In normal mode, it is necessary to press the four corners of the XY pad. Let's continue mapping the NanoPad 2 buttons. Activate the simulation mode to verify that the MIDI controllers have been configured properly. Faders, buttons. XY pad. Save the configuration and close the configuration editor. To test the created configuration, select it in OC MIDI. The input and output devices of the MIDI controllers will be automatically selected. Before clicking on the Start button, first start the Avolite's Titan 1 software. To start controlling Titan 1 with the MIDI controllers, click on the Start button. Maximize the Titan 1 window and check that the created configuration works as expected. Buttons Faders Colors Positions You can use the XY pad to move the robots since the XY pad allows you to control the two first wheels, pan and tilt. Control the pan with the horizontal movement and the tilt with the vertical movement. As an example of controlling the robots with the XY pad, we will select the robots one by one and establish their position. The positioning is done very easily thanks to the XY pad. The sensitivity of the wheels can be modified from the Titan 1 settings, selecting System, User Settings, Wheels and changing the parameter Wheel Sensitivity. Thank you very much for watching the video. And just a comment to finalize that from the product website, you can access more information as well as make the purchase of licenses.